Hey everyone, Doc Allie here. It is Black History Month, which means it would be remiss of me to surpass the month without paying homage to those who've paved the road for me and others that look like me. So today I'm highlighting Dr. Dorothy Brown, the first Black female general surgeon, in honor of my recent interview with Dr. Gayla Dillard. So Dr. Dorothy Brown didn't have the easiest early life. She, you know, she was born in Philadelphia in 1919, but she was raised for a majority of her adolescence in an orphanage and then eventually transferred to a foster home where she actually did have pretty good foster home parents. However, this literally had no effect on her education because she ended up graduating top of her high school class. She went to college, graduated second in her graduating class, and then she was like, I had this childhood dream of being a doctor, so I'm going to go ahead and pursue that. And so she enrolled at Meharry Medical College in 1944 and graduated exactly four years later. The only issue was her dream residency was surgery, and there was no such thing as a black female surgeon. So she plays homage to her mentor, Dr. Matthew Walker, who she said took a huge chance on her because it was believed back then that women could not withstand the rigors of surgery. So she said she didn't try to be hard, she had to be durable. And so five years later, she ended up as the assistant professor of surgery in 1955, and then the first African-American woman to be made fellow of American College of Surgeons. She did not stop there, however. She went ahead and became Chief of Surgery from 1957 to 1983. She became an NIH consultant. She was the first Black woman state legislator of Tennessee in 1966, and she won two awards, the Humanitarian Award by Carnegie Foundation and the Horatio Alger Award. So she is so amazing in the fact that she was proud to be a mentor or an influence to younger people. And she just says, it's not because I do all these accomplishments just to show off but I'm doing them to show that it can be done. And so we thank you for your contributions, Dr. Dorothy Brown, to the medical field and the world beyond.